What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I wanted to do a comparison between the ChatGPT plugins to see which plugin is the best for keyword extraction, content research, and website optimization. The first prompt that I'll be using for all of the plugins are to give me the ranking factors that I need to follow if I would like to outrank the top ranking blog posts for the keyword how to brew coffee at home. I wanted to give a more general prompt to see which SEO plugin will be able to give us the most information from the least input. And this is from SEO.app, again, which is a plugin available on ChatGPT. So the output that we got back is pretty decent. It tells us the things in which we need to do to outrank for this keyword, keyword optimization, bladed, semantic indexing, emotional appeal, content length. So it's given us a length um, that we need to strive for, readability score, competitor analysis, FAQ, we get some meta keywords and meta description. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty decent output, very useful. We can definitely use um, these recommendations to help us um, outrank our competitors. The second plugin that I tested was WebPilot, and this is one of the more popular SEO chat GPT plugins. And again, the content that we got back was pretty decent. We had keyword optimization metrics, quality content, backlink, social signals, on-page and off-page SEO, and so on. But um, I think the content is more general and generic. I would like to have more detailed outputs for this specific input that gives us information that we need to follow if we would like to outrank our competitors for that keyword. And this was the third SEO plugin that we used. And again, very similar output that we got back um, from WebPilot. And the last SEO plugin that we used was called SEO. And again, very similar outputs, uh, very generic and not really giving us um, specific information that we need to follow if we would like to outrank our competitors for this keyword. So for this first test, I would have to say um, we probably got the best output from SEO.app. While it did follow the same format, we were able to get more information, um, a more detailed information about that um, input or the optimization recommendations that we were looking for. Of course, that's only for one input. So let's go ahead and try another prompt to see um, if any of these SEO plugins can really stand out from the others. For this prompt, I've asked the AIs to create a list of related keywords, LSI keywords, and variations of keywords for the main keyword, how to run Facebook ads, create an easy to read table with these keywords, estimated keyword search volume, and keyword difficulty. So this is the first output that we got back from seo.app. It gives us a nice table and it gives us the keywords for our main keyword and related keyword um, for that main keyword, which is how to run Facebook ads. We get the estimated search volume and the keyword difficulty metrics. So a pretty decent output, um, I would say from seo.app. Now let's go ahead and run the same input on the other um, SEO plugins. We'll be starting with the WebPilot plugin and again, we're gonna run the same input and see how that compares to the other um, outputs from the other SEO plugins. So the output that we got back from WebPilot, it first told me that it was not able to give us any data on keyword metrics because it doesn't have real-time access to the internet. So I had to tweak the prompt to tell it that it doesn't have to be real-time data, just estimations, and then we were able to get um, a table from WebPilot. So it was a little bit disappointing that we had to tweak the prompt while we used the same prompt on SEO.app and we were able to get some output. So that's pretty interesting there. The third plugin that we used was the SEO Core AI. And again, it said that it wasn't able to give us information, but it did um, generate a table for us automatically. So we were able to still get some information about these keyword metrics from SEO Core. We get the estimated search volume and the keyword difficulty metrics. The last app that we used was the SEO plugin. And again, um, it wasn't able to give us the actual output because it says that it doesn't have information to real-time data. So right now it seems as though SEO.app is one of the better SEO plugins just from these initial tests. But let's do one more test in which we will actually extract content from a URL to see which app is better at extracting contents and reading URLs. To do this, the prompt that I'll be using is to read this URL and I've pasted in that URL, extract detailed and specific recommendations that I need to follow to allow my website and I've pasted in my website URL to outrank this website for the keyword best AI apps of 2023. So I really want to see how advanced and in-depth this AI um, plugins can be and if they can actually go ahead and find a nuance and detailed information that we need to follow to outrank competitors. 
So SEO.app seems to be doing a pretty good job, but again, it's following that same format. It's telling us what keywords we need to include, LSI keywords, emotional appeal, content length, competitor analysis, and then it's giving us a meta keywords and a meta description. So now let's go ahead and run the same input on the web pilot plugin and see how that stacks up. So again, this is the output that we got back from web pilot and it does follow that same format. And again, we're not getting very in-depth information here. We're getting very general information about how to outrank competitors. Um, so again, not very impressed by the output that we're getting back here from most of these plugins. Let's again, try the same um, input or the same prompt with the other plugin, which is SEO Core AI. Okay, so this is the output that we got back from SEO Core AI. Based on the SEO analysis of the website, here are some recommendations of things that we can do to outrank that competitor, keyword optimization, quality content. So we actually get some more in-depth information here from this tool, use of headers. Um, we get some technical SEO recommendations and we get a link to the um, URL that we included. So while this is a little bit generic in terms of the optimization recommendations, we are getting some more detailed information about that specific blog post. We're getting um, a recommendation in terms of the word count and so on. So this I would say is a little bit better than WebPilot and pretty comparable to what we got back from SEO.app. Now the last um, tool that we'll be using is the SEO tool. I think it's just called SEO. So here's the output that we get back. We get some keyword optimization metrics and so on. But as you can see, most of these plugins follow the same method. I think they're pretty much built or they pretty much use the same process when um, working and reading these URLs and extracting information. So in my opinion, I don't think that there's much to really separate them because they kind of all do the same thing. But it does seem that SEO Dot app seems to be a little bit more intuitive and seems to be giving us a little bit better outputs and more detailed outputs when we're prompting it with different um, use cases. But again, um, most of them are pretty much the same and I would recommend trying them out for yourselves and for your own unique use cases, see which one um, stands out for your specific uses. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.